Alpena Community College softball took to the field Friday afternoon for a doubleheader matchup against the pioneers of Delta Community College. Friday's contest would give the Lady Lumberjacks an opportunity to secure their first home victory of the season. And looking for their first home win of the season, the Lady Lumberjacks returned to Kendra Cole to lead the way, but the pioneers would jump out early. Top of the first, runners on second and third when Shelby Bailey smokes a rocket to third. Ashley Mayers makes an unreal stab, but her, she throws it home and it can't be handled and gets away from Kendra Lay. One run will score. The runners all advance up a base and it's one nothing Delta. Next batter is Blake Garner and she crushes this pitch to right center field and it's up against the wall. Two runs will score as Delta increases their lead to three. Later in the inning it's going to be Caitlin Blake and she joins in on the hit barrage. She drives this one into the gap and up against the wall. Two more runs will score. Delta would bat around in the first and score nine in the inning. In the second Delta's Taylor McGathy pokes this ball into right field. She thinks she's got a hit, but Alexa Quain guns her out at first. A great play for ACC, but Delta was just too much today. Taylor Wozniak drives this ball deep to left center. Two more score. Delta would cruise to a 23-1 victory in game one. The Lady Lumberjacks would drop game two by the score of 5-3. The Alpena Flyers Junior Hockey Organization will be hosting tryouts this weekend beginning Friday with player registrations and on and off ice player evaluations. Russ Anderson is the new head coach and general manager for the Flyers. This will be his first opportunity to get on the ice with his players and build the roster for the 2016-17 season. Anderson is no stranger to the Flyers and the city of Alpena having spent the last several seasons as the assistant coach within the organization. The first on-ice scrimmage was Friday night. Players will be back on the ice Saturday morning with scrimmages and player evals. Well, we had big-time rivalry on our hands this afternoon in college baseball as Michigan State and Michigan squared off against each other. Both teams came into Friday's contest with identical 28-10 and 10 records, and this game was about as even as their records were. Bottom of the first, runners on first and second when Harrison Wenson drives this offering deep to center field. It's over the head of Brandon Hughes, and it will hop over the wall for a ground rule double. A run will score, and it's 1-0 Michigan. Bottom of the second, Michigan threatening again when a KO Thomas lofts this ball into center field. Brandon Hughes makes a great sliding grab to rob him of a single, but Brandon Bedard will come on home and score from third. It's now 2-0 Wolverines. But State would chip away in the fifth. It's now 2-1, and Brandon Hughes, and he's all over this highlight, rips this pitch in the left field. That's an RBI single, and we are tied at two. Bottom of the seventh with a runner on third. Jake Blevins lifts this pitch in the center field. We're going to have a play at the plate. Here comes the throw, and it's not in time as Johnny Slater dives in safely. Wolverines now up 3-2. to two. Top of the ninth after a single and a sack bunt. Brandon Hughes rips this up the middle, and you better put some respect on his name. There's no play at the plate, and we are now tied at three. What a ball game. We'd head to the bottom of the 11th with two aboard. It's a 3-2 count, and Akeo Thomas lines this pitch into right field. Drew Lugbauer is going to come on home. The throw is not in time. Akeo Thomas walks it off in the bottom of the 11th as Michigan knocks off Michigan State 4-3. These two teams will meet Saturday afternoon for game two of this three-game series. The Tigers hit the field Friday in Minnesota with a new face on the roster. Top prospect Michael Fulmer made his major league debut on the mound, and he would received some run support from the vets early. Top of the first, runner on second when J.D. Martinez crushes this fastball to dead central. That'll hit off the top of the wall. Ian Kinsler is going to try and score. Here's the play of the plate. It's not in time. It's an RBI double for Martinez and a 1-0 lead for the Tigers. Later in the inning, Victor Martinez grounds this ball past the diving effort of Brian Dozier and into right field. J.D. Martinez will come on home, and it's 2-0 Los Tigres. Two batters later, Nick Castellanos lifts a fly ball deep to right center field. Victor Martinez is going to tag up and come on home to score for third. The Tigers put up a three spot in the first and lead 3-0. Fulmer, making his Major League debut, was very good on the evening. Here he records his first Major League strikeout with a filthy breaking ball right there. Then he'd get Oswaldo Garcia swinging with some paint on the black. Fulmer would strike out four and allow just two runs in five innings of work. Top of the eighth, it's 4-2 game when Victor Martinez enters the launching pad. He crushes one into the Minnesota night. It's a solo shot, and it's 5-2. Two. two batters later, it's Nick Castellanos, and he flexes his muscle. And that's a long, long home run to center field. The Tigers would take this one 9-2. And finally, rounds two and three of the NFL draft Friday evening. 
And in round one Thursday, the Detroit Lions selected offensive tackle Tyler Decker out of Ohio State University. Well, in rounds two, the Lions went big again, drafting Alabama defensive tackle Ashawn Robinson. Robinson was projected as a potential first round selection who fell to the Lions in the second round. He will surely fill a need along the defensive line. And right before we came on air, the Lions selected center Graham Glasnow out of Michigan in the third round. So the local boy will be staying home. The draft continues Saturday afternoon with rounds four through seven.